there, I'm Sunday Borgust, this is the Sunday Borgust Show. Most women go to menopause between the ages of 50 and 52. An estimated 95% of individuals will experience their last period between the ages of 54 and 56. Premenopausal women are classified as having experienced early menopause. Approximately 5% of individuals are predicted to experience early menopause. About 13 million women in the UK are going through or have gone through menopause. Symptoms can persist for up to 15 years. Over 60% of women report experiencing symptoms severe enough to alter their behavior. One out of every four women will have serious incapacitating symptoms. Nearly half of women who have gone through menopause report experiencing symptoms of depression. 30% of women report having anxiety problems. According to the findings of a poll that was carried out by Ipsos Mori on behalf of the British Menopause Society, one in two women in the UK experience menopause without seeking the advice of a qualified medical professional throughout the transition. Nearly 29% of women never looked for information about menopause before they experienced it, according to the State of Menopause Study, which surveyed 1,039 women aged between 40 and 65 from across the United States. You're getting started on the Sunday Broadway Show. Many societies and cultures still view menopause as a taboo topic. A Harvard Business Review article identifies menopause as one of the most pervasive and discriminatory workplace taboos that continues to persist. Menopause's psychological and physical symptoms are frequently misinterpreted and women are frequently the targets of age and gender-related stereotypes that worsen the condition's detrimental impact on productivity. Another UNSW newsroom piece says that the shame surrounding menopause may have something to do with another taboo subject, getting older. Menopause serves as a constant and unavoidable reminder to all women that they are aging and the accompanying hormonal shifts can be challenging for some women to manage. It has been found that women gain about 1.5 pounds a year in their 50s and 60s. It usually settles in the area of the abdomen. The precise proportion of that weight gain attributable to menopausal hormonal fluctuations as opposed to other factors such as the effects of aging remains unclear. Depending on the study, the average postmenopausal weight gain is anything from 4.6 to 15 pounds. While some studies tie weight increase to age or muscle loss, others link it to changes in hormones. The average weight gain among perimenopausal women is approximately 5 pounds, according to the Healthy Women study. However, 20% of the population they examined gained 10 pounds or more. The decrease in estrogen contributes to the weight gain, but it is also accompanied by a decrease in energy expenditure. As they approach menopause, many women find that they begin to gain weight. The average woman gains 4.4 pounds between the ages of 46 and 57. 
it is crucial to remember that weight gain during menopause might negatively impact their health. Numerous health problems such as respiratory difficulties, cardiovascular disease, and type 2 diabetes are associated with excess weight, particularly in the abdominal region. The risk of developing some types of cancer such as breast, colon, and endometrial cancer is also increased by carrying extra weight. The decrease in estrogen levels is the main cause of weight gain during menopause. Estrogen affects how fat is stored and how fast the body burns calories. Women tend to accumulate more fat, particularly in the abdominal area, when estrogen levels decline. This change in how fat is distributed can cause the waist to get bigger and the person to gain weight generally. Aging is correlated with a physiological deterioration in metabolism, resulting in reduced resting calorific expenditure. Because of this delay in metabolism, it may be easier to acquire weight and more difficult to lose weight. Sarcopenia is a condition in which women experience a progressive decline in muscle mass due to hormonal fluctuations and aging. A decrease in muscle mass can further impede metabolism and lead to weight gain since muscular tissue consumes more calories than fat tissue does at rest. You're getting deeper on the Sunday Pover Show. It's also possible that menopausal women are more susceptible to the effects of certain lifestyle factors that have a role in weight gain. Some of these factors are not getting enough exercise, making bad food choices, feeling more stressed and having trouble sleeping. During menopause, some women's bodies become resistant to the effects of insulin, a condition known as insulin resistance. This may result in increased adiposity, especially in the abdominal region and may contribute to weight gain. Genetics can also influence how a woman's body reacts to menopause. Genetic predispositions cause some people to gain weight more quickly than others. Emotional and psychological changes like elevated stress and mood swings are frequently linked to menopause. Weight gain can result from overeating brought on by stress and emotional eating. A Monash University study found that slightly more than 60% of women experience cognitive challenges when they transition to menopause. The degree of cognitive alterations can, however, differ from person to person. Certain women may encounter mild and transient challenges, whereas others may contend with more severe and enduring symptoms that have the potential to hinder work performance and give rise to apprehensions regarding the development of dementia. Menopause does not in and of itself cause women to become illogical or have a detrimental impact on their ability to think logically. Scientific studies have just proved the myth that menopause causes women to become illogical. The menopause is characterized by considerable hormonal changes, the most prominent of which is a drop in estrogen and progesterone levels. Despite the fact that hormonal fluctuations like hot flashes and night sweats may result, women going through menopause are not illogical for any reason. Although 
hormones have an impact on women's emotional states, the degree to which each woman feels this influence varies greatly. During menopause, some women may have mood changes, become irritable, or become more sensitive to their feelings. Although not inherently irrational, these emotional fluctuations could potentially be explained by hormonal imbalances, stress, or additional contributing factors. For some women, menopause can cause minor changes in their minds, like having trouble remembering things, focusing, or finding words. Researchers have found that between 40 and 60% of women experience vaginal dryness during the menopause shift. A study conducted on women between the ages of 40 and 84 found that 56% of postmenopausal women reported having dry vaginas. Approximately 50% of women experience symptoms associated with vaginal atrophy also known as atrophic vaginitis within a few years of menopause. During intercourse, the most typical symptoms of vaginal atrophy are dryness, discomfort, and pain. Changes in hormones, especially a drop in estrogen levels, are the main cause of skin and vaginal cells drying out during menopause. The thickness, lubrication, and suppleness of the vaginal lining are all maintained by estrogen receptors which are present in the vaginal lining. You're listening to the Sandeep Rova Show. When estrogen levels drop, the vaginal tissues might become thinner, less elastic and drier. Lower estrogen levels might impair vaginal mucus production and natural lubrication. This may result in discomfort, dryness, and an elevated risk of infection or irritation in the vagina. These alterations can cause symptoms such as dryness, irritation, pain during intercourse, and an increased susceptibility to infections of the urinary system. The changes in skin and vaginal health that occur with menopause are known as genitourinary syndrome of menopause, that is GSM. Tissues all over the body, including the skin and the vaginal area, need estrogen to stay healthy and functional. Estrogen plays a very important role in stimulating the creation of collagen, which is a protein that gives the skin its structure as well as its flexibility. Skin becomes thinner and less elastic as a result of decreased collagen formation brought on by falling estrogen levels. Additionally, estrogen has an effect on the capacity of the skin to retain water. When estrogen levels drop, the skin may make less oil and have a weaker layer which can make the skin dry. Estrogen helps keep blood vessels healthy, which means that skin gets enough blood flow. A decline in estrogen levels can result in impaired blood flow to the epidermis potentially impacting its hydration status and overall well-being. Although experiencing libido loss can pose difficulties in a romantic relationship, it is crucial to understand that this is a typical occurrence during menopause, impacting as many as 40% of women. Consistently, scientific research has found that approximately one-third of American women report having little sexual desire or interest 
with one third of those women expressing distress over this lack of desire. As a result, roughly 10% of American women struggle with decreased sexual desire. Reduced sexual desire or loss of libido is a typical problem that some women encounter after menopause. There are many reasons for this drop in sexual drive, such as changes in hormones and other physical and mental factors. The decrease in estrogen levels is the most noticeable shift in hormones that occurs with menopause. Estrogen is very important for sexual desire because it keeps the vaginal tissues healthy, makes the sex experience smoother and increases sexual pleasure. Estrogen deficiency can result in vaginal dryness and discomfort which diminishes the appeal of sexual activity. As discussed earlier, menopause is often accompanied by vaginal atrophy or the thinning and drying of the vaginal tissues. This may hurt and cause discomfort during sex which makes them less interested in having sex. Mood swings, anxiety and depression are just a few of the emotional and psychological changes that are frequently linked to menopause. The overall level of intimacy and sexual desire may suffer as a result of these emotional swings. During menopause, many women report having trouble sleeping due to symptoms such as hot flashes and sweating during the night. Fatigue and low energy levels brought on by restless sleep can influence sexual desire. A woman's perception of herself and her body may change as a result of the hormonal shifts that occur throughout menopause. A woman's low self-esteem and desire to be sexually active can be affected by having a negative view of her body. Sexual desire during menopause can be affected by a woman's changing life circumstances and the dynamics of her relationships. A decrease in libido may be the result of factors such as stress, difficulties in communicating or shifts in the level of closeness experienced with a partner. During menopause, a person's sexual desire may be impacted by the presence of certain medical conditions such as obesity, persistent illness or medications taken to control health problems. A woman's post-menopausal years can be a life-changing and empowering time. It provides the chance to embrace personal development, find and redefine oneself, and pursue new interests. Women use this period of time to engage in activities such as introspection and self-reflection. They reflect on what genuinely brings them happiness and contentment. Women consider their morals, dreams and objectives in life. Women have discovered that re-evaluating their priorities is best done during the postmenopausal period. They experiment with new interests, hobbies or pursuits of lifelong goals. This is the Sunday Power Show. Women pay attention to preserving or enhancing their physical well-being, feeling strong and energized after menopause as possible with the aid of regular exercise, a decent diet and other healthy lifestyle choices. Women make an investment in their friendships and familial connections. The years following menopause can be a fruitful period for women to strengthen existing connections and cultivate brand new ones with people who are important to them. Women think of seeing new areas and engaging with diverse cultures. Learning about oneself and one's place in the world can both benefit from and be enhanced by travel. They commit to learning more by enrolling in classes or continuing their education. Lifelong learning can be rewarding and intellectually interesting. Volunteering enables them to contribute to their community in a way 
that is both personally enriching and gives them a sense of direction. Their goal is to guarantee both freedom and financial stability. They can be free to follow their passions and interests and have peace of mind as a result. Women embrace self-compassion and self-care. They accept themselves as they are and take care of their physical and mental health. Women honor the life experience and knowledge that come with growing older. They are generous with their knowledge and ideas and they think about mentoring or coaching others in the fields in which they have competence. On their terms, they experiment with their sexuality and sensuality. The post-menopausal years can be a time for women to reclaim their sexuality and reveal in the pleasures of intimate relationships. Women set themselves with new objectives and tasks. Having objectives to work for can help one feel like they have a purpose in life, whether they are in the form of a new job path, the launch of a new business, or participating in sporting events. Throughout history, many cultures and communities have placed negative connotations on entering menopause. In many traditional societies, childbearing was considered the principal responsibility of women. The onset of menopause denoted the conclusion of a woman's reproductive years, and this metamorphosis was occasionally perceived as a forfeiture of worth, forfeiture of intention, and forfeiture of appeal. When they were unable to conceive, women could feel inferior or undervalued. There were some unflattering generalizations about menopausal women. As a result of hormonal changes, they were erroneously labeled as irritable, illogical or unstable, which led to stigmatization and discrimination. People used to not fully understand the changes that happened to a woman's body and mind during menopause. This deficiency in comprehension may result in misconceptions and unfounded anxieties regarding the process itself. Menopause was traditionally seen as a personal issue that should be kept out of the public eye. The consequences of this silence include the perpetuation of falsehoods and misconceptions and feelings of isolation. Certain civilizations linked menopause to a number of taboos. Women going through menopause were not allowed to do certain things or go to certain social events because of unfounded fears of getting sick or having bad luck. Because getting older was commonly associated with the deterioration in beauty and attractiveness, menopausal women may have experienced feelings of pressure to maintain their young appearances. This is the Sandeep Rawa Show. Problems with self-esteem and body image may result from this kind of pressure. Until recently, doctors had a limited understanding of the hormonal shifts and health effects associated with menopause. Menopausal women were stigmatized and marginalized in part because of this ignorance. As time has progressed, societal perspectives and consciousness concerning menopause have evolved. Many of these stereotypes and false beliefs about menopause are beginning to fade away as our knowledge of the transition from reproductive to postmenopausal years has increased, along with advances in medical treatment and access to information. As the notion that menopause is an inherent and typical phase of a woman's life grows, the availability of support and education to assist women 
in navigating this transition with well-being and assurance increases. However, it is crucial to realize that certain myths and stigmas may still be prevalent in specific cultures and communities despite the growing number of attempts being made to counteract these stigmas. Fortunately, these efforts continue to expand. It is crucial to remember that not every woman who goes through menopause loses her libido. Some people's sexual drive doesn't really change and as a matter of fact might even grow. When it comes to dealing with a lower libido throughout menopause, women have access to a number of different tactics and therapies including hormone replacement therapy, HRT, counseling and adjustments to their lifestyle. Dispelling myths and preconceptions regarding menopause and women's emotional and mental capacities is crucial. Many women succeed both during and after menopause in both their personal and professional life. Symptoms of menopause might vary widely from woman to woman, but for the vast majority of women, it is a normal part of life that does not cause them to act irrationally. An article in Stanford Healthcare claims that going through menopause doesn't have to make a woman feel like she's lost her femininity or her youth. Hormones can be balanced and sexual health can be restored with certain treatments. Anxiety and emotional distress may result from the psychological effects of menopause including concerns regarding obesity, body image and societal norms. Reducing the stigma associated with menopause and providing women with a safe space to talk about their experiences is crucial. We can facilitate an environment where women are more at ease sharing their experiences and seeking assistance when necessary. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Sandeep August. This is The Sandeep August Show. A great number of women perceive the postmenopausal period as an opportunity for introspection and development. It gives them a chance to value their uniqueness, their intelligence and their freedom to live a full life on their own terms. Women are increasingly recognizing that it is possible to establish a vibrant and satisfying postmenopausal phase by seeking assistance from family, friends, and professionals when necessary. Remember, when the jaws of menopause sinks its teeth into women, they bleed emotionally, mentally, and physically. But the bleeding stops eventually, and after that, it's all different. It's all new. It's all good. Thank you. This is the Sunday Progress Show.